um, out of Texas, where state senators there just finished voting minutes ago, acquitting Attorney General Ken Paxton on all articles of impeachment. He's been suspended from his duty since May, but can now, in fact, return to work. I want to bring in NBC's Priscilla Thompson, who's standing by for us in Austin, who's been following this from the very beginning. Uh, Priscilla, walk us through what we know. Uh, yeah, Yasmin, well, after almost two weeks of testimony and closing arguments with both sides making the best case possible, today those senators went into the chamber and they voted on each of these 16 articles of impeachment, which included things like bribery, uh, conspiracy, dereliction of duty, and ultimately uh, the votes are in and two-thirds of the chamber did not uh, feel that he was guilty of those crimes. He has been acquitted of every single one of them, and there were also four additional articles of impeachment that were not being consider considered because of other pending uh, uh, things going on in court, and those were just dismissed. So he is cleared of all 20 of the articles of impeachment that were originally brought by the House. He is free to be reinstated and return uh, to work as the attorney general here in Texas. And what we saw in this vote was there were at most two Republicans on any given article that voted to impeach, but of course it was not enough to hit that 21 uh, vote threshold that would have been required. I expect that we will be getting a statement from uh, Ken Paxton any moment now. We know that the uh, folks that led the, the House managers that led this, those attorneys are expected uh, to speak in just a short while, but certainly got to be a big disappointment for them. This was a historic um, impeachment. We have not seen anything like this in more than a century here, and clearly the members of the House believed that there was reason to convict. It is why they sent it over to the Senate, but after listening to all all of that evidence, there were not 21 senators in that room that um, that wanted to vote to convict him. And of course, there's also the underlying political issues here. Those two Republicans I mentioned who did vote in favor of some of these articles of uh, impeachment are not up for re-election until 2026. But Ken Paxton's uh, super PAC has made very clear that any Republicans who did not stand with him through this uh, would be in their target uh, as the upcoming as, as elections come up. So that is the state of affairs here in Texas, and we are continuing to wait for any additional reaction. Yasmin? C a couple of things I want to dig into, Priscilla. Um, as you're standing um, there, um, outside um, where it is this vote took place, what type of reactions are you hearing so far, if any? Yeah, it's interesting. There's obviously a lot of press in the gallery. There's also a lot of um, just average folks who came to sit in. Um, we didn't really see any reaction from the crowd as all of this was playing out. And it's very different from what we saw when the House voted on this impeachment. And there were Ken Paxton supporters lined up to get into this gallery to hear what was going to be presented. We didn't see that today. But we are, of course, hearing from uh, the Democrats in the state with the Texas Democratic Party releasing a statement. And a lot of a lot of folks uh, just saying that how can we allow this corruption is pretty much the message that we're hearing from Democrats very disappointed in uh, this outcome and just to remind folks of how we got here Ken Paxton was accused of um, helping a wealthy political donor in exchange for bribes and those were accusations that were made by his former top staffers those staffers were fired the Attorney General's office settled a wrongful termination suit for $3.3 million. And the reason it has come up in the Texas State House is because uh, Ken Paxton asked that state money, taxpayer dollars, be used to fund that settlement. And so that is when the Texas House launched an investigation. They voted to impeach. And of course, then those articles of impeachment were sent here for the Senate to decide on after uh, listening to testimony in this trial, where we heard from many of those former staffers, very emotional, talking about how difficult this has been for them. We saw some of those staffers in the gallery today. Um, clearly, they are also likely disappointed because many of them feel that they put their careers on the line to speak up about something that they felt was wrong. Um, they won that wrongful termination suit, but clearly the evidence was not enough to convict in uh, the GOP-controlled Senate. Yasmin? All right, Priscilla Thompson for us. Um, thank you so much for standing by uh, for us.